Right. Dorothy, please, uh, welcome. Good day. It's, um, it's Dot, actually, not Dorothy. Oh, sorry. <coughs> um, I am hoping you've read my other submission, but my written one, but I'd also like to apologise for the various typographical errors in it. Um, but I just sort of wanted to emphasise um, the part about the water rates because I don't support the introduction of the water rates as they're proposed in the long-term plan. Um, I know many people do support this rate, saying it will teach people the value of water and stop them wasting it. Um, but I'm a person whose water use could come into the excess water category and I understand exactly the value of the water I use. I live in Hei Hei and have a big garden. It's built on, Hei Hei is built on the old Waimakariri riverbed and the soil is patchy with boulders and sand interspersed with the loam. I have, since I bought the property, planted many native trees, shrubs and tussock grasses as well as fruit trees and an extensive veggie garden. This garden supported me and my son when I lived on the DPB and continues to support me as a pensioner. I give surplus food to friends, relatives, the local Salvation Army, food bank and the community pantry. It supports my physical and my mental health. And last year I won an award in the Edible and Sustainable Garden Competition. Despite years of building up the soil with manure and mulch, my garden's free-draining soil still needs a lot of water to keep plants healthy and growing. Um, I've mulched just about everything I cut and trim in the garden, and my lawn is left to dry out, and when I can, I plant more areas and tussock as their longer roots capture more carbon and survive the hot, dry periods better than lawn grasses. Over the last three years, with this dry, dry, dry weather, I have realised that unwatered areas of my garden are becoming excessively dry and dusty, Insect life and the soil's bioorganisms are dying out. I provide water daily for birds, bees and other insects. Water captured in my kitchen, my bathroom and my laundry are supplement water from my hose. I am already worried that my little healthy biodiverse ecosystem is not getting enough water and I hate to think that water charges could force me to cut back on the essential watering I do. There are hundreds of gardeners like me throughout the city. We provide carbon sinks of trees and the biodiversity which should be valued. We should be an essential part of the Christchurch's climate change plan and instead of putting on excessive water charges, we should be, I think, given rate re rebates for the number of trees we've got on our properties. After all, they are helping to um, contribute to the carbon sink of the city. Um, there are other things the City Council could do to limit water use. They could support landowners and, and them fix pipes on their own land as well more quickly. They could encourage people to, to um, away from the green English lawn and into, the, um, into a more New Zealand sort of uh, grassland thing. They, <laughs> they could talk personally to those whose water race is really excessive and give support and guidance to help them reduce water and to think of better ways of gardening. I support water education in schools and all public classes, education classes, and I think we need to start talking more about climate change, the future droughts, and act immediately to increase the green um, profile of the city. Everywhere there is a space for a tree, it needs to have one put in. Thank you. Um, we're, thank you. We're just coming to the yeah. end of the time, so <laughs> thank you very much for your um, submission. It's much appreciated. Thank you. No comments. <laughs>